so when it comes to our, the Canadian NHL teams, who do you think is the strongest going into next season? I still like Edmonton. And... They, they have Connor McDavid. I got to play and live w with Connor and play for the Oilers for a bit, and I know what they have there, and I think everyone can see what he's able to do on the ice. And that's not even mentioning maybe the second best player in the world is Leon Dreisaitl. Right. And to have those two players on your roster and to not be competing for a Stanley Cup every year is brutal. Uh, so I think it's up to Kenny Hall in there and see what happens in net. Stuart Skinner called her nominee, but didn't get the saves that they wanted there in the playoffs for that team. But anytime you're going to dress Connor and Leon every night on a team, that's my favorite. I think it showed that they just weren't ready to win last year. I just don't think they were mature enough. But oh man they take a summer to think about that loss and to think about what vegas did i i really like the oilers i think too there was so much hype around them like people thought they yeah. were gonna go till the very end and i think that is what's so interesting about them falling is it was almost like i was surprised yeah and you know it's it's tough when you play in that environment and i played three years in edmonton and you are the town the oilers are edmonton i mean they have the elks there eskimos elks they well, that finishes early and yeah. it's all oilers all the time so when you hear this stuff on a daily basis it's hard not to walk around with a little pep in your step oh the oilers are so good and your highlights are on every screen you walk right. by a sports bar and you're watching your highlights all the time and the big media markets are talking about you it's hard not to you know carry yeah. that on with you a little bit in a positive and a negative way right you yeah. can have a little bit of swag but that can affect you in a negative way too and maybe having a little bit of hubris a little bit of arrogance at times um and, and that's something that those guys are going to have to separate and when i talk about them not being mature enough to win i think that's the stuff we're talking about is right. to kind of block out that stuff and just be a hockey player day to day and you know ha have the right attitude and come into the rink every day ready to get better right. and so it's not me ripping the oilers team at all saying they're not ready but it's tough playing in towns like that. So I, I, yeah. I can see that a little bit. And I think when you add into the mix, when you're actually a good hockey team, yeah. along with the whole town or city rallying around you, it kind of adds that extra element that you're not like maybe expecting. I mean, I'm not a professional hockey player. Yeah, but... no, it, it is pretty cool too, to be honest. Like yeah. it is a cool thing to be a hockey player in, in your 20s. And when you go out for a coffee or you, you go for dinner, people are, you know, asking you about the game before. And if you're on a huge heater, right. you're, 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 you're comping your meals and all that stuff. You're like, oh, this is pretty cool. Like uh, yeah, yeah. I feel good. And I think you just have to stay in that mindset and, and stay in your lane and, and don't let that take over you too much and mm -hmm. think you know i'm the man here and just be respectful and and bring a good attitude to the rink every day